we present Style People, a generative model of full body human avatars. Our first contribution is the Neural Dressing Model, an approach to free viewpoint rendering of clothed human avatars, which combines the use of the simplex parametric body model and the idea of deferred neural rendering. The neural texture of an avatar is a 16 channel stack of feature maps. The first three channels of it are shown here. We superimpose it on the body mesh model with the simplex parametric body model. Next, we process the rasterizations with the rendering network, obtaining the result. Note how neural rendering adds loose clothing and hair not modeled by the mesh. We can fit this model to a video containing a person. During video-based training, we optimize the neural texture together with the weights of the rendering network. Here, we show the renderings of such a video-based avatar for a holdout view and holdout poses not seen during fitting. Here is another example showing that the neural dressing approach can successfully render hands. In this example we show how the neural dressing approach performs for very loose clothing and hair. Here is a comparison of the video-based avatars. These models were built from two sequences from the People Snapshot dataset. We animate them with poses from a TEDx talk. The mesh-based video avatars of Aldeck et al. are geometrically consistent, but their motion does not look natural. The textured neural avatars are driven by the stickman and suffer from geometric inconsistencies. Our neural dressing model achieves a combination of geometric consistency and motion realism. We also compare our results to the ground truth and the output of textured neural avatars method on a YouTube sequence used in their paper. The output of neural dressing again achieves better geometric consistency. Learning with backpropagation allows to create avatars from relatively short videos, but does not provide a good way to create avatars from few frames or to sample random avatars. Our second contribution is the generative model for neural dressing. Our generative architecture is based on the combination of style gun and neural dressing. The style gun part is used to generate neural textures, which are then superimposed on simplex meshes and rendered with a neural renderer. During adversarial learning, two discriminators are used. The first one looks at individual frames and assesses visual quality. The second discriminator considers pairs of images of the same person in different poses and assesses their consistency. We train our model on a large dataset of TEDx talks. Unfortunately, while it is very diverse in terms of demographics and clothing, it also has limitations in terms of resolution and viewpoint coverage, as well as some peculiar lighting distribution. It also very rarely shows people from the back. We therefore augment the TDEX dataset with three other datasets listed here. Here are random, non-cherry-picked samples from our model performing the same motion from one of TED Talks. Note the diversity of avatars and the presence of loose clothing and hair. To the best of our knowledge no prior work has proposed a similar generative model for full-body animatable free viewpoint avatars. Here are more samples from our generative model shown from a closer viewpoint. Here we show random walks in the latent space of the generative model. The generated textures are superimposed on static simplex meshes and rendered with the rendering network. Given the generative model, we can create avatars from a single photograph. For that, we first use an encoder network trained to predict the latent variable W that produces a neural texture matching the input image. Here we show the resulting avatar. After that, we perform optimization adjusting the latent variable, the parameters of the generator, and the neural texture in order to achieve a better fit to the input image. This produces the final one-shot avatar. Here we compare our one-shot avatar to the first-order motion model, which also takes a single frame as input. We retrained this model using the author's code on our TDEX dataset. Our one-shot model produces more consistent images with higher visual quality. Here is a comparison for another person from the People Snapshot dataset. Here we compare avatars created from a single frame of a TDEX talk. Our approach can be applied in a few shot setting. Here we consider avatars created from 8 frames. We compare our approach to the octopus system. 
Their system does not use neural rendering and achieves more temporally consistent results, however the motion of the avatar does not look realistic. Our approach achieves a different balance between consistency and realism. In the end, we show avatars created from videos using neural dressing within augmented reality. Here we demonstrate the ability of our approach to render avatars in any pose, from arbitrary viewpoint, as needed for telepresence in gaming applications. Thank you for your attention.